channel, I'm Joy Fay, and I'm an artist and I help and inspire people to create great abstract paintings. And today I want to talk about challenging yourself. You know, as artists, the tendency we can sometimes fall into is uh, doing the same thing and uh, then getting frustrated because it's not going the way that we want it to go. So um, actually challenging ourselves with uh, different projects is a really useful, helpful way to continually um, expand um, our knowledge and our skills to give us you know, more satisfaction and happiness out of our painting. So um, I've got a few things that, that I've listed here that you could actually think about to focus on and to use as a challenge for yourself. Some of them you might have done already, but actually with focusing on a specific um, helps obviously to focus the mind, but also pushes the boundaries. And I think you know, when we push the boundaries and explore those possibilities, um, it really helps us to bring our painting together. So the first thing that is interesting to think about is um, only using one colour. This could be a, a challenge <laughs> uh, just to set yourself to see what you could do with that one colour and all the different um tones that you can get out of it and maybe use black and white with it. So put something together um, just using one colour and then try it with um, another colour and then another colour just using that colour and seeing where it might take you and you know you might find that it gives you some very interesting unusual um, paintings. Um, the second one is to explore lots of different textures you know, using things that you might not have used before. And um, so, for example, have you tried using salt in your paint? You can do that with acrylic and watercolour and you can get some wonderful effects. Using sand might be an interesting one. Using cardboard, <laughs> using anything that, you know, springs into your mind. I wonder what would happen if... And give yourself, you know, a little bit of time just to explore with with those textures. And, you know, th these are all done in your sketchbook as, um, you know, little projects. If you like what you do, obviously, then you can say, I'm going to make a painting out of this, which, you know, at the end of the day is what we're learning all this for is to do paintings. <laughs> Um, so, you know, having experimented and looking and, and seeing and putting them in your sketchbook that you can then say, right, I'm going to enhance this into a bigger painting. The next one is looking at negative space in painting. Now, what is negative space? Um, negative space is what is between the shapes, which is a shape in itself. And, um, you know, actually drawing taking something and rather than looking at what it is that you're drawing, look at the negative space between it. So for example, if you're drawing, you decide you're going to draw a chair, rather than draw the chair itself, look at the negative spaces between it. And um, again, you'll come up with some very interesting, unusual abstracted shapes. And you can start turning it into many different things. <laughs> so negative space is very, very um, fascinating when you start exploring that uh, possibility. Another one that is really r lovely to try is um, as a challenge is different music. So you could uh, put on some really kind of lovely um, upbeat music and draw to that and then do the opposite or paint to that and then do the opposite and uh, do something you know very classical and then maybe something operatic maybe something you know some chill out uh, saxophone music <laughs> try different things and first of all with maybe with the drawing but then with um, painting and see when you put on that music 
what colour it feels like to you. You know, is it going to be the same colour that you'll do to the, you know, the upbeat, you know, crazy music as it would be to the classical, smooth, gentle music? I don't think so. So <laughs> think about the colours that you would use in um, painting and moving with music. And one of the wonderful artists that really pushed this was Kandinsky. So you might go and have a look at some of his paintings and um, see the influence that music had on his painting. Um, the next one is your emotional expression. So what you could do with this one would be, say, for example, take a big piece of paper, maybe like um, A2, and divide it into sections, maybe six sections or, or, or more. And in each section, um, draw what you feel is a different emotion. So, for example, in the first one, you might draw the feeling of being happy. <laughs> in the next one, you might draw the feeling of being sad and etc. Carry on with the different emotions um, and see how you how, how different that drawing is. And then see what colours might go with each emotion. And this is a really, really powerful uh, challenge because the things that you might come up with will surprise you. And when you're doing this emotional expression, it kind of brings you together inside. It kind of connects something up and it also releases something. And in releasing that into a painting, it's very powerful. And, you know, you have to, looking at all kinds of modern contemporary art, so much of it is emotionally based. And when you, um, you know, when you consider all the things that are going on in the world at the moment, there are a lot of things to feel very emotional about, angry, upset, distressed, you know, things are non-comprehensible of, you know, what's happening. How does that feel to you to draw? And what colours would you use to paint in that? And, you know, it once you've released it, it gives you an insight and gives you something different to think about, about how you're feeling in that emotion. So doing these challenges and giving yourself these prompts are really helpful to um, spur you forward with your painting. So starting with the one colour, you know, and then you start comparing the, the that one to the one with the texture, to the one with the negative spaces, to the one with the music, the one with the emotional expression, then you will have expanded your repertoire massively. And this is really valuable to building your confidence and building your skills and learning new techniques. Um, the last one that I would also suggest is uh, one of my favourites, which is making different collages. Now, you know, there's so much information about how you can do so many different kinds of um, collage, but, you know, using different things that you might not have used before to see what you might do with a uh, collage. So you set that as a focal point and a focus and see what comes up, what arises to you to do. You know, would it be flicking through magazines and taking some pictures out that you like? Uh, would it be doing your own? You know, also <laughs> some of the pictures that you have done with the other exercises, you might cut some of those pieces up and use them as collage pieces, which again would be very interesting. What you, what you want to kind of be thinking about through this whole process is what more can you do with what you've done? And this kind of pushes you to be more and more creative more and more pushing yourself out of the box, extending those boundaries. And in doing this, you 
extending your experience of painting and it stops you getting into a rut on um, just doing it in one way and you, you, you know you, you'll give yourself so many new ideas and inspiration to uh, use in an actual painting and you keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it pushing those boundaries can really um, expand your whole experience of painting so I hope you found that um, really helpful and watch out for some of the demonstrations and um, I'm going to go through some of these myself and I will be filming them and um, I hope you will you know find that interesting in between times you know if you do want to explore more with your uh, painting I have a free um, abstract mini course which will um, again <laughs> expand your knowledge and your skills and you know get the juices flowing get the wheels on the road and start doing some really interesting um, paintings so I'll put that in the uh, description box uh, so you can click on that and there are four great lessons which you will enjoy and have fun with so thanks for watching and if you've got any comments if you've got any interesting challenges that you've done yourself uh, that you found really useful and helpful then do share them because you know people like to um, know more and that would be great and if you've got any questions obviously um, ask them and um, press the notification bell if you would like more videos like this. So take care and have fun um, exploring new possibilities with these challenges. Okay, bye for now. Mm -hmm.